GCSE Biology. Welcome. Are you excited for a fun learning session? Make sure you have your book and a pen before we start. Today you will learn about physical and chemical barriers. Physical and chemical barriers. Physical barriers stop pathogens getting past them or make it hard to do so. An example of a physical barrier is the skin. Chemical barriers react with substances in the pathogens and either kill them or make them inactive. Microbes can enter the human body through the eyes, ears, nose, mouth, genitals or cuts in the skin. The skin is a physical barrier. The skin is very thick. Unless it is cut most pathogens cannot get past it. Some vectors can pierce the skin, e.g. mosquito. Lysozyme is a chemical barrier. An enzyme secreted by the skin. The enzyme can break down the cell walls of bacteria, found in tears, saliva and mucus. Mucus contains lysozyme acts as a chemical barrier and this sticky secretion is produced by cells in the mouth and nose. Dust and pathogens get trapped in the mucus. Cells that line the nose and the respiratory system have cilia. They have tiny hair-like structures they sweep dust and pathogens out of the body. Stomach acid is a chemical barrier, pH of around 2. Most pathogens are destroyed by the acidity. There are different types of sexually transmitted diseases such as chlamydia which is a bacterial infection that can be spread through contact with sexual fluids during any unprotected sexual activity and by transmission from a pregnant woman to her unborn baby via the placenta. HIV is a viral infection passed on through any unprotected sexual activity, sharing needles or from a pregnant or breastfeeding woman to her baby. To reduce the risk of catching, or spreading, and STI there are many things that can be done. Practice safe sex for all sexual activities. Do not share needles. Get tested regularly even if in a committed relationship and using condoms. Testing is important as some STIs have few symptoms and not all individuals have symptoms. Some STIs can lie dormant before showing symptoms and without regular testing it is possible to pass on infections.